welcome to Arc Genesis. This is going to be a video of a starter guide because there's so much new things about this expansion that we've never seen before in any other expansions from Wildcard that there's a lot to go over and just showcase and explain. So this is Arc Genesis starter guide for everyone. When creating a new character or respawning, you'll be greeted by Helen. HNLA, your personal tour guide of the entire expansion, she will be super crucial with everything you do because without her, you wouldn't be able to do a lot of the things that we're about to go over. Now, depending on your playstyle, I highly recommend actually starting in the ocean biome, even though it's considered a hard biome to start out. Uh, it is actually probably one of the easiest ones because you can just kind of start your adventure on top of the island safe and sound. Minus the Pego and the Steely Bird, but other than that, there's no other kind of predators unless you jump into the water, which is the hard part. Hello, I'm Mitchell Lene, a fractal personality designed to be your guide. Just listen to me and you won't get yourself killed. Probably. I'm new at this too. Any landing you can away from is a good one, eh? Welcome to the Genesis Simulation. Here, you'll be tested across five biomes, each with its own dangers and rewards. I'll be with you every step of the way. Interact with me when you want to teleport from one biome to another, or when you want to spend some of the hexagons you'll earn for completing missions. Those missions are how the simulation tests you, how you prove you're the ultimate survivor. First, though, we have some exploring ahead of us. Ready to go and walk about? With interacting with Helena, you have a bunch of new options that you can do. Teleport to biomes, arrival protocol, exchange hexagons, and also Helena settings. With Helen settings, you can actually hide her if you don't want to see her all the time. But to reshow her, hold down your emo button, which for PC it's T, and you just do show Helen. Exchanging Hexagon is a brand new feature in Genesis where you can earn currency by doing missions on the map and by you can pass in these hexagons from resources all the way to the loot crates which loot crates the more you spend on the better versions the better off you'll be getting ascendant gear and vice versa the less you spend the less gear you would be getting good gear interacting with her once again you can pop up the teleportation to any biome you can teleport to any biome at any time uh, there will be a massive orbital bubble around you and anything that is in there like dinosaurs and allies will be transferred with uh, to the next biome. Enemy players and wild dinos will not be teleported and also if you take damage during this teleportation, uh, the teleportation will be cancelled. Teleport activated. Also, another base game feature that's really useful for a lot of people is the new uh, informational scanner. If you look at a creature by hitting H on keyboard, I don't know what it is for console, sorry. Uh, she will automatically try and scan the creature that is in front of you and display all the information that the creature has from its topor, its health, everything. Literally all of its information. Very useful and very unique and very awesome. Now let's go over the main feature of Genesis, the missions. There's a roughly about 200 different missions in the game and they're scattered throughout the entire the simulation map because uh, they're not technically it's a map but it's, it's a simulation. Um, and basically what you can do is if you open your inventory there on the top of the screen you'll see that your hexagons and also your mission groups. So you click on that you can track your missions and see all the missions in the entire game uh, which is really cool and uh yeah you just track it go to it and then start the mission there's a bunch of different missions from gathering horde mode hunt race retrieve you name it there's a lot of different missions that you could do so there's something for everyone this expansion is really going towards a lot of the uh having fun and having group activities with a lot of people because a lot of them are going to be very difficult if you don't have a lot of people so i highly recommend doing it with a group of tribe members so that way you can complete them and get hexagon points for everyone if you're in a mission that you don't think that you can complete you can just open your inventory and cancel the mission from the mission tab
Also with the mission ports, you can also go up to them and access their inventory if you don't want to start the mission. This is also a terminal for you guys, so that way if you want to transfer from other different maps, uh, this is it. Also, another new feature for Genesis is glitches. Glitches are the story aspect of the expansion where we don't have explorer notes anymore, we have glitches. The glitches explain kind of background stories of different survivors and also different biomes. They're all different, there's so many more, and yes, they do give you an XP boost when you uh, click on them and read them, and uh, Helen, uh, she reads them to you, so pretty cool. Two points. <laughs> Observation loop involving other survivors. The Genesis simulation spends a lot of bandwidth watching how much you go it alone and how much you team up with people. It's easy to think of the simulation as something the paleontologists and ecologists dreamed up, but I bet the sociologists and psychologists are having a field day with all the human interactions. Oh, now maybe I've said too much. Sorry, invisible researchers! A new restricting uh, feature of Genesis is the no building zones for the mission areas. Luckily for us, you can actually see these zones by uh, entering the zone by holding H on your keyboard. Once again, you can see in the bottom right, you can see the little buff saying it's a mission zone you can't build there. Or bringing out a foundation, you can see actually where all the different zones are on the map. And also by interacting with Helen again, you can actually see all the different zones on all the time if you want to be more precise of where you can actually build on officials or on officials. And the last bit of information I want to share with you is that each and every zone has its own different hazards. Uh, for instance, a volcano area has erupting volcanoes shooting rocks at you. The ocean biome has cyclones and the, the snow biome can have avalanches. So be aware of the environment because the environment can change at any moment at any time. So be wary of your surroundings. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, that is Arc Genesis Starter Guide from Fizz. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like, subscribe, and follow. Please share the video if you really enjoy it. I did put a lot of thought and processing into this, and this is pretty much probably going to be one of the most accurate videos on launch day. So, uh, yeah, uh, it, it probably is because I spent, uh, let's see, the game's been out for a couple hours. It, yeah, it's already like 3 o'clock. So, hopefully you enjoyed the video. I do have a giveaway on my Discord, and I do have a free server uh, starting on Friday. It's a free open PC server. We're going to have so much fun. We have so many people joining, and I cannot wait. I will also be having a build video showcasing all the builds of the trailer. So, if you enjoy the trailer builds, I will be showcasing them in a video in the near future. But thank you very much. Share the video. I love you all. Hopefully, this is a good starter guide for you all.